Hey, do you know what is the most valuable piece of paper by weight and size? It's the British Guiana, one cent black on magenta stamp, and in 1922, it sold for 352,500 francs. That is a world record at the time. But this is not the subject of our video today. Okay, let's discuss the content of today's video. In ancient times, the important information of different periods was recorded by cutting marks on rocks or mountains, on animal skins, or on tree bark or tree leaves. From that ancient era to the present world, we are constantly recording various bits of information. In today's modern world, we use paper to record any kind of information. Do you know how many papers are used around the world every day? How many papers are prepared every year? And how are these papers being produced? Throughout today's video, I'll discuss with you the history of paper, production process, usage, and all known and unknown information. I will reveal all the mysteries born with paper. So stay with us throughout the entire video. Modern paper is thought to have originated in China in the second century AD, although there is evidence of paper use earlier. This invention of paper is considered one of the four famous inventions of ancient China. In ancient China, bamboo paper was invented by Chai Lun of the Han Dynasty in the early second century. Paper began to be used in China as a cheap and effective alternative to silk. The practice of paper spread from China to the rest of the world through the Muslim world, and paper production began in medieval Europe in the 13th century, where the first water-powered paper mills and mills were invented and built. In 1844, Canadian inventor Charles Fenardi and German inventor F.G. Keller co-invented machines and processes for making wood pulp as a key ingredient in paper making. You'll be surprised to hear that 65 billion pieces of paper are used in our world every day. In 2023, the total amount of paper used around the world was 420 million metric tons. It's estimated that the global paper demand in 2024 is about 427 million metric tons. China is by far the world's largest consumer of paper and paperboard, consuming about 130.3 million metric tons annually. Industrially prepared papers are constantly used by us in various sectors. It's believed that paper is used the most in the education sector. Research has shown that a school uses an average of 2,000 sheets per day, and the annual amount of paper used by a school is an average of 320,000 pages. A large amount of paper is constantly used in various sectors, such as law, finance, real estate, medical centers, and food industry, etc. Printing an average of 50 pages an hour in the law sector. Most paper is wasted in office work. It's estimated that 70% of total office waste is made up of paper, and 30% of print jobs never get off the printer. Now, let's talk about the paper preparation process. 93% of the paper is made from trees, but today a large part of the paper is produced in the global recycling process. The United States recycles 11 million tons of paper each year, which is 53% of the paper used in that country. Several steps are followed to prepare the paper in the paper mill. Step 1. Collection of Raw Materials Pulp is the main raw material used in paper making. Pulp is made from plants that contain a high percentage of fiber. Wood pulp is the most common type of plant fiber used to make paper. Other types of fibers used to make pulp include cotton and cellulose fibers. Also, through recycling, Paper is made again from discarded paper, or from waste. Step 2. Pulp and Paper Process Paper for recycling is mixed with processed water and then stirred in a large stainless steel vat called a pulper to create a fiber suspension. The mixture of paper and water is passed through a filter to free the unacceptable waste material. This filter process can be called screening. On the other hand, pulp is one of the byproducts of paper making. The quality of paper made from pulp is much better and cost effective. Step 3 Diluting Paper Fibers 
Papermaking machines remove water from the fiber solution. At the beginning of the papermaking process, the solution contains about 1% fiber and 99% water. Different types of paper are made by thinning the paper fibers in this way. Step 4. Wire Section The wet end of the paper machine has a head box, which distributes a uniform jet of aqueous stock. The liquid falls onto the wire or forming fabric. Beneath the wire, foils remove water and improve fiber uniformity, ensuring that the fibers weave together in a tight mat. The wire passes over a suction box that vacuums the water, leaving a soft mat of pulp to form a paper sheet, also known as a paper web. So far, the cable has traveled 30 to 40 meters. Within seconds, the water content drops to 75 to 80 percent, and the web loses its wet sheen. Step 5. Pressing In this step, excess water is extracted from the pulp mat prepared by pressing. Passing the paper web through a series of nip rollers in a special machine, water content has reduced 45 to 55 percent. Step 6. Dyeing Dyes are used with the paper in this step to produce paper of different colors, which gives different colors, values, and importance of paper. Step 7. Paper drying. In this step, the paper web is passed through a machine that has several steam heated drying cylinders. They are heated to 130 degrees Celsius using steam heat to ensure 80 to 85 percent dryness of the paper. Wet sizing is the addition of a type of starch to the surface of another paper that contributes to the stiffening of paper sheets and the bonding of fibers. After sizing is applied, the paper passes through another set of heated drying cylinders. In total, the paper webs have to travel 400 meters through the dry end. Step 8. Paper Finishing In this final step of paper making, the thickness, smoothness, color, etc. of the paper are worked on. Papers are traveled through a special roller machine to smooth the surface of the paper. Roller machines press through several wheels to control the thickness and smoothness of the papers. Step 9. Cutting and Packaging In this step, the large paper sheets are cut into different sizes as required. After the paper is made, it is usually rolled into large spools called jumbo rolls, which can be several meters wide and weigh several tons. The cutting process usually involves feeding the jumbo roll through a series of large cutting blades, which slice it into smaller rolls or sheets of the desired size. After cutting the papers into specific sizes, they are packaged for marketing. Paper sheets are coated on the outer surface with a strong coating to protect them from various harmful substances, including heat, water, vapor, and others. Step 10. Quality Control It's one of the stages of papermaking where all the steps from raw material collection to paper marketing are controlled. Raw material quality control, process control, quality testing, calibration and maintenance, statistical process control, quality audits, and other important activities are completed in this phase. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share your valuable comments about paper production. Stay with us by subscribing to our channel to get more informative videos like this. Your support motivates us to make new informative videos. Thanks for watching this video.